Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to another video here on the channel and thank you very much for clicking on it. Today's video we're going to take a little look at something which I happened to come across on the internet uh, last night and I'm just like, how is this going to make things better? Because obviously we've seen a lot of stuff going on recently where we have seen Johnny Depp supposedly, you know, yesterday he was like, People are like, oh my god, they got Mbappe, the year football, he's taken over Savage, they've got rid of Johnny Depp. They haven't got rid of Johnny Depp. That's just clear the air with that one there. He'll probably have his own Savage scent, like Johnny Depp has got Elixir, but he'll also be for the uh, fashion uh, end as well, Mbappe will, and in the French territories and around those surrounding areas. Johnny Depp is still with him, do not worry. But I saw this, and this is what we got. Fantastic Beasts 3. Johnny Depp's recasting makes Grindelwald's motto better. I was a little bit like, how is this going to be better, you know? Because like, like I said, the second film was okay. He was the best thing in it, Johnny Depp was. And to be honest, I did think the film was actually kind of trash. But that's because there was so many story uh, um, threads going on. And they just didn't follow through on anything. Recasting Johnny Depp for Fantastic Beats, The Secret of Dumbledore, can improve Gellert Grindelwald's motto for the greater good. So, Depp's recasting for Secret of Dumbledore makes uh, Grindelwald's motto better. Dumbledore originally coined the phrase that Grindelwald later adopted as his motto, for the greater good, which was meant to justify the evil deeds that the Dark Wizard committed. The motto was first introduced in the Harry Potter books, but the prequel Fantastic Beasts series can actually explore its origins and effects in the Wizarding World. For the first two movies in the Fantastic Beasts series, Johnny Depp played the infamous uh, Grindelwald, who was only mentioned in the original Harry Potter franchise, as being one of the former owners of the Elder Wand. Grindelwald was considered one of the most dangerous and powerful wizards of all time, planning to create a new world order in which wizards ruled over muggles, until Dumbledore defeated him in a duel. After ongoing issues with uh, Johnny Depp, the secret of Dumbledore recast Mads as the Dark Wizard. Doing so will improve the ethos of the wizard's motto. The motto, for the greater good, was used to defend the villainous act Grindelwald performed against those who opposed him, but it never would have worked without him, possessing enough charisma to convince his followers. Otherwise, such a thing would ultimately fall flat and leave Grindelwald without the army he tried so hard to grow. The hold that Johnny Depp's Grindelwald had over his followers worked as a fear factor, but nothing more. His look in the crime of Grindelwald was with pure white hair standing on end and different coloured eyes gave the impression of being something other than human, as if suggesting that Grindelwald's familiarity with the dark arts had also altered him physically, just like it had with Voldemort. This appearance was too terrifying to inspire anything other than fear, whereas mad softer, more conventional look can better evoke the kind of charm that a cult leader needs. First of all, to me, that is just 100% a load of baloney. Who wrote this article? Autumn, didn't know say a surname. But yeah, that's just absolute bull, all of this is. So Mad's version of uh, Grindelwald in Fantastic Beast 3 is way more convincing in portraying the infectious charisma the wizard is meant to have. How? While Grindelwald is also in many ways a terrifying character, his greatest strength is his ability to draw others to his cause. His skill and manipulation was displayed repeatedly in the crimes of Grindelwald, but Depp's version couldn't really capture the kind of charm that is expected of a despotic cult leader, especially when as successful at gathering recruits as Grindelwald. For the many difficult acts his followers are expected to perform, it's less believable that they would be willing to do them if fear were their primary motivator. Mads' appearance in FB3 is more likely to inspire the kind of trust and admiration that would endear people enough that they'd want to follow him. Johnny Depp's recasting in FB3 changed many things beyond the impact of the motto. Hopefully the movie will commit to exploring not only the terrifying power that Grindelwald wields, while FB has already portrayed, but also his ability to manipulate those around him, even Dumbledore. Mads has big shoes to fill for the movie, but the first trailer has made it look promising. And then it just goes into uh, that it should go Dumbledore's relationship. But to me, 
I really do think all of that is just 100% baloney because, come on, are they seriously suggesting that uh, Johnny Depp invoked fear into people when he was, you know, making this and everything else? It's like he's saying, oh, this character, he's meant to have the charisma, but these people, they just went after him because he invoked a certain emotion in him. No, that's not what it is. Spiky here is basically what they're saying now. So if you wear different colour contacts and you have spiky hair, that you are going to be fear and, and everything else. Everyone's going to look at you and be like, oh, I'm scared. No. To be honest with you, I think this piece, this article by this autumn person, is just trying to be like, well, you know what? He did look scary and he's invoking that on people. He doesn't want to do that. They don't want that. They need someone to look more conventional. More conventional? It's a movie about wizards. It's in the make-believe, you know? This is what cracks me up with uh, certain things. When they try and make things, you know, again, like this article purely. Oh, he was invoking too much fear and he, he looked horrible. Different colour eyes. He had white spiky hair. Oh, no. His hair was spiky and it was white. Oh, no. So, are they saying that Doc Brown from Back to the Future is the same? Because he, he had white hair, he was always on end. Albert Einstein, you know, there's so many things going on. But when you see things like this, it really gets to you because it's like, come on. This is just someone now who is literally, oh, it can be better now he's gone. It's like they're trying to think of something to make it a film better. You know, it wouldn't surprise me this person will put out something regarding uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and be like, oh, yeah, it's better without Jack Sparrow or... Do it without this is so much better. Look, if we recast Jack Sparrow, see he's not as drunk there. See he's not as uh, whimsical as he used to do, you know, like, ooh, and all that kind of stuff, you know? It's like, come on, that's the character. As I said, he made the crimes of Grindelwald actually watchable. The rest of the film is trash in my eyes. They had such a good story from the first film going into it. And I was watching, I was like, you know what? This could go somewhere really, really good. But then it was just like, yeah, we're going to make so many storylines. We're not going to follow every storyline. We're not going to follow any of it, really. And they just kind of went, yeah, okay, story strand, 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 strand. Grindelwald, oh, he's going to get some recruiting, and that's it. That's exactly what they did. It's actually almost like uh, Fantastic Beast 1.5 instead of uh, number 2. That's what it seems to me. It's like, oh, we can just add a little bit more story here, just so we can push forward. Just so we can get five films out of this franchise, make some more money. That's what they've done. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you smiling faces soon.